Both of you smell like the acrid scent of burning feathers on the air as you approach this hut. Um, there's a gate in the fence, and on the top of the gate, uh, on each side, there's like the, the, the decapitated head of a rooster stuck on top of the gate. There's two of them. And they have like bright red eyes. Um, you described this earlier, but for insight, what could I make like an insight roll right now to know if this, if we should like, if this feels like danger or is that just too like fucking metagamey? Huh, let me see if uh, insight would, would help you with that. That's an interesting use of it. Also, Arcana. I just kind of look around at all these dead birds. I go, that shit cray, yo. Insight yeah, I mean, I could, skills, <laughs> wisdom. I might just think it's weird in that they said it's the, you said it was a witch, so it might just be normal. For this to be a thing around the witch's 178. house. Let's see. So insight is more for determining the intentions of a creature, like whether whether someone is lying or trying to predict oh, okay. someone's next move. Um, so I don't think that it gives you any inherent survival Perfect. ability, but uh, someone wanted to use Arcana? Yeah. Go ahead and give me a roll. Okay. Mm -mm, come on, baby, give me the rose. That's okay. <laughs> cool. So you sort of step up to the uh, the two rooster heads. What are you doing to try and like? What does it look like when you use Arcana as a skill to try and figure out if there's magic in an area? Um, there's a lot of like like hand shaking and dancing and stuff. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you no, just, I was totally gonna go with it. Just kind of, you just <laughs> lean over, like, let me roll the bones. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like looking for the connection between like items. Like uh, a, a rooster head on a stick is nothing to you know to be scared of, but like a rooster head on a stick mixed with like uh, a charm of some sort, something like that. Just looking for the connections between the things to see if there's like a um, a, a hex or a, a you know something like that. Yeah, okay. Um, you take a quick look at this. You, you sort of like rub your fingers in front of it, sniff the air. You know, like maybe you have like a little bit of like dust from the ground that you sort of throw between them or something like that. Um, from what you've known of like people who live outside of civilization, they tend to be very superstitious and uh, they tend to rely on like charms and little fetishes and stuff to keep them safe you think that these two rooster heads have been imbued with a small measure of magical power in order to detect evil okay okay um uh, I, I relate uh, this this uh setup with the with the the roosters it may look uh gruesome but uh it's it's just a, a warding a uh, um a warning system for the person inside um nothing to be frightened of can Damn, I just right. because Ooh. just because everybody's acting like super weird? Can I? Um, I'd like to have my maul at the ready, like I'm okay. holding it. Yeah, absolutely. You pull See, it out. And maul meaning like a two-handed club. Can you describe it? Is that what it is? Uh, it's like yeah, it's basically like a really large mace. Okay. So the end of it is like just very foreboding and intimidating. Does right. it have like metal I hold it like it ain't it? no thing. It has Size one matters. large spike on it. One okay, large cool. spike. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm so going, I'm gonna, I'm, let's knock on the door. Come on, yep, Kellen. So I'm going to stride up and give a little rap, rap, rap on the door. Okay. Um, like you, as you approach the door, you smell the smell of burning feathers much more powerfully. And then you hear this <laughs> from inside. Uh, and you hear an old woman's voice go, ah! And then you hear like a clattering and a clashing and a shattering of like maybe pottery breaking. And then you hear like a thump, 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 thump. Is there any sort of lock mechanism on the door? Is there any sort of locking mechanism on the door? Yeah. Not on the outside. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to not like bust it in, but like just push on it to see if it'll open. You push on it and there is something barring it from the inside. There is okay. Yeah. Um. It, it, excuse me. Are is it, are you in danger? Is it is there anything? What was going on in there? Um. My name is uh, Kellen, and um. We would like to assist you if there's any. Hello. Uh. Oh and you hear God. a voice from the inside say, "What is it?" 
just oh. from the other side of the door. She's good. She's good. Kellen, it's it's okay. It's okay, man. It's Please okay. take control. Uh, and you hear like uh, a clicking and a, the jangling of chains and like the unlocking of various locks. And then she pulls the door open and there's like three chains holding the door like just you know, like two inches open. And you see like one very wizened old eye peering out from inside. And she says again, who are you? What is it? What do you want? Uh, hello, hello, and, uh, you know, let me, just before you feel, uh, in, inter, you know, I don't want to mm. let you know. Growth that potion. To... I don't do it. No, no, I'm good. It's not I'm safe, honey. I'm happy with my stature. I'm happy with my stature. <laughs> oh, I got my fuck. This bitch is throwing here. shade at you so yeah. hard. <laughs> I know, right? Stop <laughs> oh with this. God. Okay. Please, please. We're just here for one little piece of information. We'll make it worth your time. We'll make it worth your time. We know that you are, you know very helpful to other people we've heard so we just want to know if you could help us out with just a little bit of information is that cool what do you want to know oh so like there's this um god you know uh he's a basilisk god i don't know if you heard of this shit uh his name is lasari and there's um there's this elven ruin thing that's apparently around here somewhere and we're supposed to find it and maybe if you could help us that'd be cool just saying nothing comes free honey what yeah, are you of offering course. of course of course i i got a i got a few shinies i can spare for you if it make it worth your while she uh she closes the door and Damn then you hear, like, the jangling of chains. And then she opens the door again, and she's like, um... Do you remember the, uh, I mean, have you guys seen, um, Howl's Moving Castle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, the Witch of the Wastes? Yeah. Which is in her old woman so she form? she looks like that? She looks like that, except that uh, one of her eyes has been scooped out. And there's just this empty socket... Um, and she actually, like, as she opens the door, she, like, covers her good eye, and she's, like, weaving her head back and forth, looking at you. Um, she doesn't have many teeth left, and she says, all right, come in, we can talk business. And um, on the inside of the house, like, that burning feather smell is really strong. There's actually, like, smoke drifting down the stairs in the back. There's, like, pots and pans sort of stacked up everywhere. There's, like, chicken legs hanging from the, the low ceiling. Um, it's kind of a comfortable height for uh, Bardrick, but for the rest of you, you kind of have to stoop just a little bit. Just a little, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and um, it's, it's kind of close, and, like, all of the windows are very warped glass, so, like, the light in here is a very strange quality as well. Yeah. Um, and there's, like... Steven, I would say that I stuff. I stay yeah. outside as a watch. Okay. I don't go in. Okay, cool. And I tell the part of that too. I'll, I, I'm just like, I'll be outside if you need me. Oh my Sweet. God. I yeah. totally go in because this is super rad. Like the most legit shit I've ever seen in my life. Fuck. So jazzed. I have awesome. so much to learn about city life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I go and I guess I kind of I walk in just fine because it's my height, so that's sweet. Yeah, what kind oh. of what race is she? This old woman. She's human, just ancient and withered and bent. Oh, okay, so that's why she's so okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this is more my stature. I like this. This is awesome. Sweet. So, um, also, if you happen to have any information, because you're so wise and we've heard, you know, tales of how awesome you are, uh, there's also this group of druids. And that's kind of also very interesting to us. So, you know, let's make a deal. Mmm. And she sort of, like, eyes you. And she, she takes a look at Kellen, and her eye just sort of stops on him for a second. And she sees a look on your face, Kellen. And uh, she sort of nods, and she says, <laughs> Yes, a group of druids. Well, that will cost you a little bit extra, won't it? Now, as for the location of these elven ruins, this cult of Lasseri. Well, I don't usually deal with those folks. Not many people these days worship Lasseri anymore, a very vile and violent god. But it doesn't seem like you're associated with him, now Not does it? No, no, no. We've just heard some, some interesting, you know, interesting rumors and shit. We're just willing to check it out. That's all. <laughs> Keep it distant. We're not, we're not, we don't buy into that cult jazz. That's not us. Um, give me a persuade roll. Uh, 
Get it done. Get nice. it done. Woo! Yeah. Nice. Bitches love okay. my shit. Okay. Um, she she pours you a cup of tea, and it smells vile. It smells like poison. Just like, who knows what kind of herbs went into this. Probably like some chicken droppings are in there. She hands it to you and she looks at you incredibly expectantly. And you can tell that she is looking for you to drink this and love it. Uh, wow, this... Oh, mm. <sighs> this smells awesome. Uh, <laughs> this, this isn't going to turn me into anything weird, is it? So, she sort I of frowns like at you. Halfling. <laughs> it's good. Okay, I just go. As you're, as you're taking a sip, she sort of smiles and she says, "Yes." Mm -hmm. Now the entire Central Ellen Plain is dotted with uh, the ruins of an ancient Elven culture that used to worship Lasseri. Good. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here. She says, um, the name of the civilization was um, the Undalian tribe. All right, and whereabouts was that again? If you were to, like, you know, imagine that, you know, your, your awesome crib is right over here, and then there's, like, Castal right over there, and then where would you... Sweetie, let me get to it in good time. All right, all right. Drink That's some okay. more of your tea. And she sips some, and she just, like, shivers with pleasure at the drinking of this tea. Um, and she yeah. says... Right. And I, I try and grab the, the cup from Barker. Yeah, yeah, you go right ahead, Kellen. <laughs> okay, Kellen, right yeah. <laughs> grab the cup. Yep, some I'm, stiff I'm, shit. I'm, uh, herbalist profession and a medicine skill as well. Yeah. Um, can I smell it to see what's in it? Like, yeah, it absolutely. It? Okay. Just kind of want to make sure it's not like you know poison. <laughs> Give me a medicine roll. You bet. I'm fairly sure I know what this is. It's, <laughs> it's definitely not poison. It's cool. a couple of various plains roots and uh, a couple of flowers as well. You can only brew this kind of tea in the spring. Um, it has an incredibly high caffeine um, quality. And there's also a, a component in it from one of the herbs that allows the drinker to sense the presence of ley lines much more accurately. It sort of enhances the, the magical senses. Um, Perfect. I'll down it like it's water. Awesome. Like that, uh, and sense with a big fat smile on my face, and tell she, her how she, she smiles and says, "Oh, honey, there's enough to go around now." And she pours like another big cup for um, Bardrick and sets it. <laughs> oh fuck! Can I try it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, I like to reach uh, out. She pours like a, another mug for you and hands it to you and says, "Oh, Damn, not that I, I think right I think you need an extra large serving." And she pours you like a, like a stein of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck that's so good Holy it shit. tastes gross like there is there's no two ways about it it tastes awful she says as you're sitting there she says well i don't know you but you seem like a nice type so i can tell you that very near here just seven or eight miles to the southwest. In fact, you can see it from the standing stone, which you probably used to find my humble abode. If you go to the standing stone, look southwest, you'll see a low ruin lying on the hills over close to the Starkwald. If you head there, that is the ruin from the Ondalian tribe. And maybe this place will be able to give you more of the information you're seeking. Why are you seeking this location again, if I may ask, young man? Arrow, pull it out. And she, she takes the arrow gingerly from you. And then she just, like, licks it all along the shaft. <laughs> I'm too easy. Too easy. <laughs> like... So is that you from I'm letting it go. I'm letting yeah. it go. <laughs> that was literal, actually. I know that, but still. <laughs> and, um, and she sort of smacks her lips and she says, Hmm, yes, I see. There is power here. Be careful, children. Be careful. So is that, like, bad? You know? We're gonna, like, die if we go there, you think? Um, and she says... 
divinations cost extra. And she smiles. How much we talking? Hmm. Let me take a look. <laughs> Hold up. I'm just going to go outside and give this to our other guy because I bet he'd really love to try it. <laughs> you just pop your head out and be like, there you go, buddy. <laughs> you hand it to me and I just look at it. And I just like nod to you with a, a sly smile when you shut the door. I just like fucking toss it. <laughs> just throw it on the ground. Well, I, I, I don't toss the drink or the, the mug. I just like toss all of the uh, liquid, yeah. liquid, liquid yeah. out. Yeah, awesome. Um, you, you, you toss the liquid onto the grass and where it hits the grass, the grass just dies. <laughs> I look back in the glass and I'm just like, I just hold it at my side and wait for the party. Yeah. Um, she says, I can perform a divination for you if you'd like, but it will cost you. My profession requires a number of specialized ingredients. Not all of them are readily found in the nearby areas. As such, I must trade with individuals who are not scrupulous. You understand how those horrible capitalists will take advantage of an old woman like me. And she like smiles and it's all gums. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh us to well, we 200 about? gold pieces. Oh. Damn, you're too rich for my blood, but at least right now. Just wait until my album drops, all right? And then I'm going to have all the money. I'm going to be able to buy all the divination nations from you. Now, it's going to be good. You use the gold to purchase uh, ingredients for your divinations, is that correct? Yes. Uh, is there any way we could circumvent the gold? And get the items for you instead? Um, give me a persuade roll. Oh, why was I talking? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, my persuade is... Oh, it's a negative one. How nice. <laughs> Minus one. Okay, here's the time for the crit. The crit shit. Chicken. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> that was it. Nice. You like That's say this I'm and drool about. starts coming out of your mouth and then like a snot <laughs> bubble forms. Uh, no, I try, no, I try, and, try and speak to her in the language and end up insulting her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'll speak to you in Elvish. You just called me a whore. <laughs> oh, I picked back. Uh -oh. I'm just kidding. Jokes, jokes. Yeah, uh, she says, um, she looks you up and down and she says, I'm not certain what it is you're trying to say, Sonny, but you're not gifted with words. And no. she turns she you turns back to, to Bardrick and she yeah. says, Now, if you would like to circumvent the 200 gold piece cost, then perhaps it is possible that, as your uncouth friend suggests, you could procure for me some substance that I might be able to use. I require two vials of sap from an awakened tree. You may find these deep within the Starkwald, either to the northwest or to the north. These are dangerous and ancient entities, and they hate men and women like you and me. Oh, damn. All right. But that's that's some heavy shit. If you desire a divination, then I can certainly provide you with one for such payment. Now, as for information regarding druids, I do require a simple, a simple favor. You see, far to the south, approximately a day's travel, there is a section of barrows. Don't go into them, at least not for long. They are a dangerous place and they will eat folk like you alive. But there is a mushroom that grows on them. It's called the ghost mushroom. I require it for some of my uh, more psychedelic products. Is that like the stuff we just drank? No. No. That okay. is much more expensive. I don't give that for free to visitors okay. who show up on my porch needing things from me. It's very heavy. It's good. It's real 
heavy and good. So, all right. If what's, you collect uh, for me the ghost, ghost mushroom, mushroom, then I will tell you more information that I know about the druids. And trust me, I do know a little. I'm going to tap, uh, tap, uh, Bardrick. Yeah, what's up? All right. I take, one I second. Take I must the, talk to my my party, obviously. The folded picture of my of my uh, mother and father, and point to my mother. My, this is my mother. She's a druid. Show this to her and see if she's seen anything. She obviously doesn't like me. Okay. All right. All right. So I take the paper. And I, I, I just wait in the corner expectantly. So I go back over and uh, I show the paper to the, you know weird witch with no teeth and I'm like so these are just some of the people we're just trying to find you know just for fun really and uh, they're part of this druid group that you know we, we have to find this ghost mushroom to get uh, and, and we'll totally get your ghost mushroom for you that's, that's cool and all but um, maybe it might make it easier if you see their faces maybe you've seen them before I don't know do you do druidic things you know what I'm saying um Kellen, what are the names of your parents? Um, let's see. It is... Um, my mother's name is... Uh, oh, I had it written down, didn't I? Let's just say it's... Um, uh, let's just say uh, her name is Talia. T-A-L-L-I-A. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my father's name is um, also Kellen. Kellen? Yep. I'm, Kellen I'm, Sr. I'm a junior, yeah. Um, she cackles immediately and she says, <laughs> Talia and Kellen, yes, I am familiar with them. They have come to see me. Oh, well, fuck. How, how, so they get turned into bears. <laughs> Turned into bears. Sounds like somebody's been talking. No. What? Uh, no. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Come on, stop it. So, yeah. Uh, Mark, that's cool. Roger, <clears throat> Maybe oh, just could, like, let could, us know what you know about Kellen and, and his wife. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Why, just the other day I was speaking with Kellen and he said to me that he was going to... Oh, that's right. You haven't paid me. Now go. So you know who Kellen is and his wife. Uh, can we make it worth your while to find out where they are if we just give you some gold? Is that, uh, is that cool? You like gold, well, right? I do like gold. The information is not as valuable as a divination spell. So 75 gold pieces. We have a deal. I don't have enough. Uh, how about, like... Uh, um, while this is going on, can, may, can I um, do an insight to see, like, if she is lying or she, yeah. is, like, she actually knows something? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Come on, come on. This is really important to me. Let's go! Uh, no, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, she's a wily old woman, right? Like... <laughs> She kind of, she plays her cards pretty well. Uh, you're not entirely certain if she's being truthful or not, but, it, you know, she did recognize the, them in the picture right away, and she knew their names without you telling her. So, okay. you know, it seems like whether or not she saw them five days ago, like she said, like, uh, that might not be true, but she's obviously, she knows them some. Okay. Is there any way I can tell if she's uh, uh, good or evil? Uh, do you have any way of detecting it? It, like a like a spell detecting, right? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Then you don't. Um. Okay. Um. Well, you know, it's a bit stiff for us right now. I'm sort of between gigs. So, uh, could we say like twenty five gold? Can you tell us where they are? Twenty five gold, and you spend the night, and you drink what I tell you. You want some services, some friendly services? Is that what I can't, I can't hold back any longer. I'm just going to push Bardrick out of the way and say, I, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, this is the closest I've gotten to finding out where my parents are. Whatever it takes, I will do it. 
We don't have the gold dessert. I, I would do anything. Anything. Okay, yeah. good. Good. Yeah. Um, and she says, not you. Her. And she points to uh, Juliet. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> cool. What? We're like, you know. I've been like, I've been like fucking around with now. weird shit in the house. Like, what? <laughs> she wants, uh, she wants some companionship with with a fine looking woman such as yourself. I think that's what's um, going on here. She she waves you off. She says, "Hold, please. You're not mature enough for my type. No." I want you to drink a substance that I will brew for you, and then tell me the quality of your dreams the next morning. Oh, fuck. I'm in. Sure. <laughs> Let's do it. What do I got to drink? Do you have it now? <laughs> no. It will take me some manner of hours in order to brew it, but it will be most interesting indeed. Party. Let's do it. Okay. Party at the witch's hut. Um, uh, I will pull um, Juliet aside and say thank you. Um, I will be forever in your debt if you can get me closer to the location of my parents. Just t- 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 thank you. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I just I just smile and I'm like, oh man, it's like no big. Like she's gonna give me like some cool drugs, I guess. Like it's like no big, man. I got I will, you. I will throw my arms around her giant body. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I hug back, but like squeeze a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, dog. No, that's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely okay. Cool. It's my bad. So you guys spend the day at Hextia's, and in the middle of the like the the spacious room that you've entered there there's a table off to the side and there's like a counter all along the back wall where there's a couple of windows and the sunlight beaming in um and uh in the middle of the room there's like a big cauldron and a fire and there's like holes that go all the way up there's a chimney that goes all the way up out of the house and she starts like uh she has uh she has um Kellen go and get like water from a well nearby um and then uh she asks uh Juliet to like, you know, just prick your finger and drop a single drop of blood into the cauldron. And then uh, she starts combining all sorts of like herbs and spices and like components of animals. Like I'm pretty sure you see her throw like a chicken's foot in there and stuff. Um, And uh, she just starts boiling this until like eight hours pass. And uh, we're well into um, tone. Does the, anyone uh, come and get me, or do I just stay outside for eight hours? <laughs> You're outside. I, I, well, I mean, they probably had to leave know. to like get water and stuff, right? So, oh yeah, okay. I had yeah. I and uh, and once I once I get that and that stuff, I, I'll I'll let him know like what's going on and what's happening and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I just I just warn you like, be careful of whatever may happen. That she is you, a witch, it seems. You you speak wise words. Uh, you're absolutely correct. I may have in my excitement overlooked uh, that she is a witch, so I appreciate your words. Good. Good. I just okay, like so... Broad. Kellen, we still gotta pay this broad, man. She's like, she's gonna tap us out. I don't know how much you got on you. I got I got but 16 then, gold. That's that's it. And then I'm tapped out. We Didn't we arrange for the, the for Juliet to drink this in payment? So does uh, Hilda drink? 25 gold and... Yeah. Oh, well. I talked her down from 75. How much do you have? I got 16 gold, so that'll tap me out. That Okay. Well, if you give 12, I'll give 13, and we'll call it a day. Sweet. Okay. So I do that, and then I'm completely out of gold. I have two silver and five copper left. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, you guys hand over the gold. Uh, late in the evening, she brings out, like, hunks of bread and cheese and, like, uh, she taps a keg of mead that she keeps in, in her house. And, um, you know, you guys all eat and drink fairly fairly well for, for this old witch living out in the middle of nowhere. Um, she has a couple of people stop by and just exchange quiet words with her at the door. And she passes, like, parcels of herbs or, like, a little twig figurine, like, out through the door to them in exchange for a couple of coins. Um, most of the people who are bringing, like, asking for stuff from her, like, they're only paying, like, eight copper or maybe a silver piece at best. And she doesn't um, lick any more arrow shafts? No. 
right. <laughs> she handed it back to Kellen as soon as she licked it. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> over the course of the day, there's this foul smelling stuff boiling away in this cauldron and she's stirring it very carefully, always counterclockwise, always, always until it, it boils down into like a thick black sludge in the bottom of the cauldron. She scoops it out into a vial uh, and it's about 10 p.m. now. Uh, it's the the end of tone and the beginning of fet. And she hands this to Juliet and she says, Now, sweetheart, drink this, but do try to keep your wits about you. Remember what happens in your dream. And remember, darling, I need to know what happens. So go along with it. Are you going to give me like a dream journal? Like, because sometimes I wake up and I, like, don't fucking remember anything. So I just want to, like, make sure, you know. Can you write? Yeah. All right, sweetie. <laughs> and she, like, she pulls out, like, a horrible old grody piece of scrap paper and, like, a little pen, like, with the, the nubbin nearly worn down to nothing. She's, like, she's just sort of looking at you askance, like, you know. Here, if, if you really want <laughs> Since it. Since you're actually, yeah. Yeah. Since you're going to use it. If you can really write, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and then, uh, like, as are you going to drink this stuff? It's just a little a little tiny vial of black tar-like liquid. Yeah, man, what? I drink it. It, it I to slides. I toast, I toast the room. Is everybody else in there? Yeah. I toast the room and I say, see you, bitches. And then I, I drink it. Do the rest of you toast with the mead that she's offered? <laughs> Uh, I toast up my glass, but I don't. I won't take a sip. Like, um, before yeah, can I, I party. can I quickly move before she takes a drink of that and put my hand over it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if you don't mind, um, you know I'm gonna do like the same check I did before, like see if like like smell it, look at mm -hmm. it, see how viscous it is, that kind of shit, and yeah. do like the, the a medicine check or whatever. Give us a medicine check. Perfect. Okay, I just don't. I, no, I don't want you drinking random. He's just stuff. making sure you're not roofied. It's okay. I know. Exactly. Sweet. Uh, oh, sure. Hey. Okay. Know. Yeah. Um, she was obviously working a spell into this liquid as she prepared it. Okay. So it's not only deriving its properties from the herbs and uh, ingredients that she put into it, but also from the magic that she was working. Um, there is a large component of poppy in it, so okay. it will likely put Juliet to sleep very quickly. Um, there are a number of sort of hallucinogenics and psychedelics included in it as well. Okay. Um, none of it seems overtly harmful, though um, she's probably going to have some really stinky pee for a couple days after drinking this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of just give, give, give uh, Juliet the gist. This is what's, this is what's going to happen. You're, you'll sleep and you'll have vivid dreams, um, but it's, it's largely... Uh, won't leave any permanent lasting effects. Okay, cool. I nod. I Bottoms put a hand up. I put a hand on your shoulder and I say, "Thanks, man. Don't worry about it. We're totally going to like find your parents and whatever. It's going to be cool, okay?" I look up at your big orky face and I say, "Anything for you." <laughs> I nod. Party, and then I drink it. Ugh. Excellent. All right, let's take a quick break. And then when we come back, we'll find out what kind of dreams Juliet has. Awesome nice. stuff. We'll see you guys in about three minutes. <laughs> 